Hi, this is Chris with Fisher Workshops, and in this tutorial, learn how to build your own designer watch band. A pattern with three watch sizes and detailed instructions can be downloaded from fisherworkshops.com. Thank you for watching, and I hope you enjoy the tutorial. Let's begin by first cutting out several leather strips that will be used for the interior housing of the watch band. The leather I'm using for the interior housing is 2.2 millimeters thick. Now I want to cut the edges to give it a slight taper. Now using a coin or a pattern, round the edges of the tip. Now let's do the same for the shorter piece and taper the edges. Now I will use a rotary sander to taper the rough side of the leather, decreasing its thickness towards the tip. If you don't own a rotary sander, you can also use a skiver to taper down the leather. Although, for a more precise taper, I prefer to use the rotary sander. When you're finished, here's how it should look. For the interior and exterior leather on the band, I'm going to use 0.9 millimeter horse leather. I like to use horse leather for its unique properties and durability, although any thin leather can be used. Now is a good time to go ahead and stain our leather or leave it unfinished for a natural look. Now I want to use the dyed leather for the visible sides of my watch band. So I'm going to cut each piece to fit the dimensions for each side. I will do the same for the leather used on the belly side of the watch band. Next, apply some contact cement to the belly side leather and the rough side of the interior leather strip. After a couple of minutes, adhere the two pieces together. Now let's do the same for the shorter end of the watch band. Now let's trim the edges down to match our taper on the interior leather strip. Do this for both pieces. Now we can apply contact cement to our remaining pieces and fix them together. Now 
As I fix the exterior leather piece to the watch band, I'm going to use a small piece of leather to firmly rub the leather down along the edges, as illustrated. Now let's trim up the edges with a ruler and a sharp knife. Now I'm going to go ahead and punch holes for my buckle. This is a large watch band so I'll be punching 10 holes. Apply a little glue to the leather tab on the end, which we will later affix our spring bar to. While I wait for the contact cement to dry, I'm going to go ahead and use a fine diamond stitching chisel to punch stitching holes around the watch band. Now let's go ahead and cut several pieces of leather to be used for our belt loop. Now let's go ahead and repeat the same process on the shorter piece that we finished earlier on the larger piece.
Now let's glue and stitch our belt loops together. Now let's cut out a hole on the short part of the watch band for the buckle to go through. Now apply a little contact cement and affix the buckle to the watch band. Now I can go ahead and punch the remainder of my stitching holes and begin to saddle stitch the project together. Now to apply a few finishing touches, I'm going to use my rotary sander to smooth down any roughness on the edges. Now I use an edge beveler to bevel down the edges of each side of the watch band. Now apply some slicking gum of your choice and use an edge slicker to burnish the edges.
Now I'm going to use an edge marker to color the edges and apply a sheen for finish. For added protection, I'm going to go ahead and apply some mink oil and buff it off. Now that the watch band is finished, let's go ahead and see how it looks. Thank you for watching and I hope you enjoyed the tutorial.